Today's recipe isn't exactly a complicated recipe, it's more of a trip down memory lane for myself. When I was very young my grandmother used to live with us and she was a rough as guts Scottish lady with a heart of gold and I really do miss her a lot. But whenever I make this recipe it always reminds me of her. It was her favourite lunch, she used to have it all the time, she'd even order it when she went out to a cafe or a restaurant. So today I'm going to show it to you. It's Granny's Curried Egg Sandwiches on The One Pot Chef. some curried eggs obviously we're going to need some eggs some boiled eggs so into a pot I've got some water and I'm just going to place three eggs in like so now make sure that the eggs are completely covered in water they should have at least two centimeters or about an inch of water above them that way it sort of decreases the chances of them cracking and with the eggs make sure they're not straight out of the fridge because if they're really cold when they get boiled that can also lead to them cracking as well so make sure they're sort of at room temperature just let them sit out on the counter for a couple of minutes at least just to let them sort of return to room temperature now over a medium heat we're going to slowly bring them to the boil our water's starting to boil so we're just going to give the eggs a very gentle stir just to make sure that they cook nice and evenly and then we're going to set our egg timer to five minutes now five minutes will give us a nice sort of in between a soft boiled egg and a hard boiled egg there's the egg timer time to get our eggs out I cooled the eggs in a bit of cold water for a minute or two and then just peeled off the shells next we're going to mash them up with a fork eggs are mashed up next I'm going to add some whole egg mayonnaise I'm going to put about two tablespoons in and just mix that up next is one heaped teaspoon of curry powder now you can always add more if you prefer but we're really just going for the mild taste of curry and my little secret ingredient that granny always used to add a little bit of paprika just a tiny bit of mild paprika don't need a lot but she used to always add it because it used to give up a bit of a pep she used to call it and we'll just mix all that together and that's our curry egg mixture ready to go so let's make our sandwiches so we're just going to divide the egg mixture between three of these pieces of bread at this point if you want to season with salt and pepper please feel free I'm just going to add a little swirl of mayonnaise on top and then place the lids on I'm not sure why but my grandmother always insisted that curried egg sandwich should always be served in little triangles so who am I to defy granny and here is our platter of granny's curried egg sandwiches they looked amazing they smell wonderful and they're really bringing back a lot of memories for me so let's have a taste mmm so nice you've got that beautiful fresh egg and the mayonnaise you've got that curry flavor and that little touch of paprika really does add a little bit of pep to it if you don't want it spicy feel free to leave the paprika out but wow that's so nice and really sort of nice to go back in time and remember things you've forgotten well i hope you've enjoyed this recipe check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time see you later